If you're a heating air machine technician or even a salesperson, why do you need to know your financing and why does this matter? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sell Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. So let's say that you got to the table, you've done the right thing for the homeowner, you've given a recap, you've shared with what's going on, you've given three options. You really need to understand your financing. You need to understand your easy payment plans. You need to understand which vendors do what. And there's a lot of times where people will go to make a purchase and they get declined. And uh, because they're declined, they feel like they're rejected and they don't want to go any deeper. Okay. So uh, I lived through the 2007, 2008, 2009 downturn. And like the, the, the vendors that did financing did not give up their secret sauce. But you know, through talking to the reps and finessing them, I was able to get some of their secret sauce. And some of the other salespeople that I worked with were able to get some of their secret sauce. So, you know, they would tell us roughly, here's what we buy down to for, for credit scores. And so I had to prepare people and say, hey, look, you know, right now, here's what it's taking. It's taking two or three different companies to go through to find a financing source to get somebody to take care of you. If you get rejected, we'll have another one ready to go. And I only did that because I knew which source needed to go first. And, you know, if you know your buyer, you're going to know the financing, the easy payment plan that's going to work for them. And so it is 100% your role and responsibility to get this down. It is your role and responsibility to learn this. It is your role and responsibility to be able to log in, have them put their credit app through the phone, through the tablet, and let them do everything your hands off, right? I rode with a technician a couple of years ago and he went through and inputted everything for the buyer, for the client. I'm like, dude, do, do, do not. You don't want any part of that, right? Because if if they lie on that and they and you help them out, now you're complicit in some way and there's a lot of questions like, here you go, fill this out, right? And like, I've, I, I had a person go in and say that they made like 250 grand a year when they really made 80. And the financing company came back and they were like, hey, Scott, there's something going on here. I had a dude get financing one time in his wife's name. And, you know, when I was there, she gave me her ID. And then a year later, after they hadn't paid their bill once, they came back and said, well, that wasn't me, right? The, the, the financing rep had actually called and said, Scott, you better make sure that you're sitting there and like maybe get a picture with them, <laughs> right? So just know that you got to know your financing. And this is why you should go to HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. And what that means is private coaching, private training, group coaching, group training, or discounted coaching and discounted training for you. Now, next up with financing, you've got to know payments, right? You've got to know your payment factors. And every company is different. Now, every time the interest rates go up from the Fed, interest rates are going to go up from whoever you're going to lend with. And so do dealer fees. And so you really got to understand how dealer fees work. There's no such thing as free money. Say it with me. There's no such thing as free money. So one of the things that I would explain to a homeowner is like, look, at the end of the day, there's no such thing as free money. You borrow money. There's always a cost associated. You swipe your credit card. There's a 3% fee. You know, you always got bank fees anytime you use outside of network banks. People understand that there's always a fee. And so like there's times where the companies you work for will say, we can use this plan, but not that one. Or you can use this plan only when it's this price. You know, you could use 12 months, same as cash, you know, promo uh, under these circumstances. And you have to know what you can and can't do and what the limitations are. And it's important for you to sit down for a couple of hours and make some notes and get this figured out. Because like if you want to get paid money, right, that's the money, international sign, pay me money. You got to get your financing down. You got to get all that stuff straightened out. So you need to know what plans work or what companies work with what people. And you need to know what what the the dealer fees are. There's three things. What plans work for what people, the dealer fees, and then like the interest rates and the payment. In case that's four. Uh, because when you have these interactions and you have these conversations, you want to be well-versed on what you can and can't do. But you can't come over too salesy. Like you got to be able to explain what's going on, but you can't be too salesy about it. Your role and responsibility is to help people get the right option. And please, please, please don't make anything up. Know and understand your financing. There you go. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Hit follow if this is social media. Or three, share this video and tag it, tag it to a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.